so bring from all the rain that we had um, last week um, and last night we just we realized Dixie's pen was just like the muddiest mess like over my top of my boots and up to my ankles um, just mud from the rain running downhill and coming into her pen um, so today my mission was to fix her pen um, I got some advice from a local South Carolina farm group that horse pelletized pine bedding um, was great at absorbing moisture more so than like um, shavings like I use them um, so I came in here with a couple bags 40 pound bags of it um, and you guys saw in the video the other day um, sorry the phone was ringing um, you saw the video the other day where it was just mud mess so I put down a couple 40 pound bags of the pellets and then I put a bag of shavings over them and you can see I'm just like walking here. It's still pretty squishy, but it's not a liquid mess. I'm not sinking down. Um, I walked in over here where it was really bad. Um, and it's just, I'm standing on the top of the ground. And here's Miss Dixie enjoying her, her dinner, huh, Dixie? Some ear scratches in there. <laughs> Got some pumpkin and some cantaloupe. Yeah, what? Say hi to the camera. I'm interrupting your feast. <laughs> All right, so sunny day today, freezing cold. Well, maybe not freezing cold, but it's about 50 now. I'm um, just, just under, but at least we got. Dixie, we were feeling pretty sad because she's all alone out here um, until our boar comes at the end of the month. So she gave her a whole huge bale of straw. She's made her little burrow in there and then soaked up all this moisture so she doesn't freeze to death out here. And then she should be good till we get our, our male little piglet that she can hang out with for a while. So that's about it. Anybody feels like they're bored and wants to come cut some pumpkins with me, I'll be cutting pumpkins for the rest of eternity. <laughs> See you later.